Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. The clouds are breaking apart. It's gonna be a beautiful day and we've got some goodies to go on the gator. So we've got these double rhino grips from Magift that we're gonna install. I bought these all on Amazon, by the way, and there'll be links posted down below for every tool and everything that I use here in the vlog today. We also have Coplin ratcheting grips. And these guys are basically a ratcheting grip. There's one right there on the gator. You can already see it. I've broken five of these. They work great, they work really good, but they don't take too kindly to trees. The next thing we're gonna install is this LED light bar. It's gonna be a monster on the gator. This is the big old thing we got. Yes, we got it free. Yes, the company sent it to me. And yes, at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a 10% coupon code. If you need to get an LED light bar for your truck or your car or SUV or your XUV or whatever you got, I'll give you a 10% discount code at the end of the video. So. It's a win-win for everybody. Come on along with me today. We'll have a little bit of fun on the gator, slapping on some goodies. We'll have a little bit of fun pimping out the gator a little bit. And I'll tell you who my new sponsor is. All right? Woo! Stony Ridge. From Stony Ridge. Stony Ridge Farm. It's sponsorship time talk. Guys, have you ever been frustrated going to the store to buy your razor cartridges? I know I have. Well, good thing for you, there's a company called Dollar Shave Club. This is not Dollar Shave Club. This is Dollar Shave Club. Look at the difference. This is a baby. This is the daddy. This is the baby daddy. Baby daddy. Baby daddy. I'm nobody's baby daddy. So picture this. You wake up early in the morning. You take a shower. You get ready for work. You go to shave. And you've got this puny little tiny razor that we don't need anymore because we've got the premium executive razor from Dollar Shave Club. So if you're like me and you're sick of the nonsense at the store, now's the time to try Dollar Shave Club. For a limited time only, Dollar Shave Club is basically giving away their shower and shave combo pack. This combo pack features three trial size versions of their most popular products, a executive razor and four cartridges. In your first box, this is what it looks like. You'll receive shave butter. Mmm, shave butter. You'll also receive, ow, that's a sharp razor, man. You got me. Mmm, don't reach in there fast. Well, you'll also receive, <laughs> Amber Lavender Body Cleanser, and I'm bleeding, and it's rad. This is a really sharp razor, by the way, guys. Just want to let you know, you'll receive this executive razor with four cartridges right here, Dollar Shave Club. Uh. This offer is exclusively available only at dollarshaveclub.com slash stonyridge. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash stonyridge. So if you're tired of using a wimpy little razor, go out and get yourself a man's razor that actually works. Proof is right here. I'm bleeding. Go to Dollar Shave Club slash Stony Ridge and get your starter kit. Woo! I'll also post a link down in the description to a Band-Aid company because it got me. <laughs> so since I've sliced and diced my finger doing the sponsorship video, I'm going to wear nitrile gloves for this job just so I don't get any nasty in my, in my finger there. And that, that razor was sharp. It got me. bit me like a little rattlesnake. So the first thing we're going to start with is the double rhino grips. And I want to put them right here on the front bar so that I can mount a rifle or put my tripod on there or shovels or whatever. So let's get started mounting this thing. All right, let's open this guy up. See what we're all about. Here's our mounting hardware. Here's another rubber thing. A couple more rubber things. And mounting hardware, more rubber things. Instructions and the rhino grips right here. Pretty cool. It's like a redneck Christmas tree. Right on there. I think it's gonna make the gator look like Rudolph. So the goal here is to be able to carry a rifle with me on the farm at all times. We're having a big predator problem here on the farm and we gotta take care of business. So first things first, I've gotta get my primary rifle and set it up here and make sure that it's gonna fit correctly. So here's my primary rifle. It's just a little farmer's 22. And basically I wanted to make sure that we're gonna be the correct distance here. Okay, that's a pretty good mock-up with my little 22 rifle here. We'll get these guys slapped up here real quick. So we're not gonna read the instructions because we're men and that's how we roll. The nut goes in your mouth. I always find that my mouth is a good place to store. That's not nice, is it? So the tools we'll be using for this project is our little DeWalt brushless and a 7 16 inch wrench. And that's pretty much it. And these kitchen shears. And basically I'm gonna take this little piece right here. This is a little rubber piece that's meant to keep the mount from going forward and aft. Now we've got this in position where we'd like it. I think I'm gonna extend it out just a little bit. 
right to where the bar starts to go down. I think two people would be awesome for this job. One to hold things in position uh, and one to work. Fail, it's not gonna work right here. We're gonna have to have a longer uh, mounting screw in order for it to work. That's stupid. Why would you build a mount that's supposed to go on a UTV that wouldn't fit every roll bar or every part of the UTV? That doesn't make any sense. There's your review. So we're gonna have to find an alternate place to mount this. That's dumb. I, I should be able to mount it anywhere on this machine that I want to mount it on any roll bar. That doesn't make any sense. Just There's your feedback, dude. Give me some screws that are long enough to mount wherever I want to mount it. That doesn't make any sense. Here's the other place that I have an option to mount the uh, quote-unquote rifle mount, but if I put it here, it's going to hinder operation of the bed and dumping and putting hay bales in and stuff like that. I don't want to put it there so I'm just gonna to have to go to the store and buy longer screws. Just for information's sake, let's see what size this is. It's an inch and a half bar. Evidently it'll only fit on like a three-quarter inch bar. That's frustrating. So the Copland brand is set up to where it will mount all the way from seven eighths to two inch tubing so we shouldn't have that problem with this one. Let's get these goodies out. Now these have the little rubber mounts and they are pre-cut and ready to rock and roll. Thank you, Coplin. That, that's a better, it's a better product. It's a more expensive product, but it's a better product. The Coplin brand is designed with a little removable part right here. I'll try to remove it. Just push that out. There it goes. And this pulls out and you can rotate the assembly to go this direction or this direction, or pretty much any direction that makes sense for you. It's indexed in here so that you can rotate it to where it fits and it works for you. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do our Coplin mount. Since it's so adjustable and I can move it to whatever index side I wanna move it to, I'm gonna mount it right here. So we'll have a mount on the front right here, and this will kinda cradle whatever I put in here, and we'll have the rifle mount right up here. So we can always get this guy out of the way, and it works really simply. You mash the button, it opens the little button right here, and then you just ratchet it down, just like that. It works really good. So we put our rubber little piece right here, cradle it, lay it on here. So the Coplin brand comes with two different length screws. So you can see there, smart, better product. Be nice to have Mrs. Stony Ridge here to help me out with this project. All right, while we can still move it, let's mock it up. See what we've got here. All right there is exactly how I'll mount it up. I actually want it to be, I want this to kind of be a scoop. So I'm actually going to rotate it just ever so slightly right there. I think it looks just right. Hey. You dummy, you didn't start the nut. These are nylon locking nuts, by the way. All right, we got our mount all set up. We'll take our rhino grip and set them in place and get them in the right position and boogity boom. Slide this little clip right in here, right there. Good to go. Get her set up here, slide her in, make sure we're close to the same. Let's lay some in here and make sure it's level. And we're pretty much right on the money. I'm gonna pull her down just a little bit. <clears throat> little things like this get on my nerves. If it's not just right, it'll bother me all the time. Job well done, they look great. This is how they work. They clamp down just like that. And I can haul tools, I can haul two or three shovels on here, stuff like that. When I wanna release, I just raise that up, push the little button and raise it up. Easy breezy, daddy like. Let me show you guys what's down here in the yard. I got four turkeys down here in the yard. Nice. Nice to have wild game in the yard, eating up my grass seed. Let me show you something that you need if you don't have. This is a little organizing case, and I'll show you. Anytime I have any kind of project and I have leftover stuff like these leftover screws and brackets, I always hang on to them and I put them in this case. Let me show you the case. This is what I do. So I just keep all my stuff organized, kind of like brackets and stuff. There's a little bracket bin right here that I've got all sorts of brackets, and then for these screws, I'll look around and find. So there are some more screws right here. And look, there may just happen to be exactly what I need right here in this box. Awesome, let's see. Boom, no trip to the hardware store needed. Awesome, we had it in our little case. See what happens when you save stuff? So let's get these guys mounted up. 
So the front of the gator looks like a reindeer. The whole neighborhood already thinks I'm crazy anyways. I still don't know if it's gonna work. We're gonna make it work. Let's get me nut started. If it's too long, I can always cut her off. We're gonna use the wrong tool now. There we go. Nice. Everything falls apart. Oh, cool. Everybody fall. I'm fixing to void the warranty on this. Now. Ah, lots better. Now, here's how we're gonna avoid the warranty because I'm gonna whack it with a hammer right there and try to straighten it out because it's just a little bit cocked over to the side this way. There we go, nice and snug. I was gonna whack it with a hammer, but it looks like it might crack it. Let's get our other side mounted up and see what it does. Let me show you the conundrum that I'm in right here. This thing's only designed to fit on a smaller bar, so I'm only gonna be able to put two bolts through, one on this side and one on that side, opposite corners of each other. As you can see, it's ever so slightly cocked in this direction. So let's see how it works. We'll go ahead and put the other one on. How many of you guys are guilty of doing exactly what I'm doing right here, taking on more of a project than you can get done in the allotted amount of time? I have an appointment at two o'clock and I've gotta be out of here and it's, whoo, 135. <laughs> so I'll be out here at midnight tonight putting that light bar on. <laughs> Semi-firm rubber piece. There we go, rubber piece. Well, it's on there. See if a little bit of manual manipulation will straighten her up a little bit. Oh, dude, fail. This thing can only be as strong as these little bitty plastic pieces right here. Ah, oh. how sucky is that? Man, I didn't put much torque on it at all and it just, just broke. Trying to epoxy that thing back together, that sucks. Well, before I start whining and crying, let's see if the, Yep, this will serve the purpose. Fits right in there. Nice, daddy-like. It has these little straps here, I'll show you. These little straps go over, basically, they hitch right over top. There's a little groove right here. Let's get you a close-up. There's a little groove right here, you boop, pop it into, and then stretch it over, and hook it on the other side so that things don't bounce out. And they also have these little hook, this little hook system that holds it in place. Uh, that'll do it. Nice, stout, firm. I like it. I also like that 22 farm rifle I have. Well, let's talk about review and quality. The Copland mounts, I know, are very good. I've used them before. They're good. You just got to watch out. If you bump into them, they'll break. They're not made out of metal. They're made of plastic. It's a pretty hard, like robust plastic. Definitely much harder than the plastic involved here. This tells me that this product would not hold you know, 15 pounds or something like that. And eventually it was gonna break anyway. The reason I bought it is so it can hold the tripod or hold my coyote gun. This is very disappointing and very unfortunate. And I do not recommend this product whatsoever. I do not recommend it. I'll post a link down there to it, but buyer beware if you put it under stress. We didn't put it under much of a load. It just broke. We're gonna contact the company and see if they'll send us another one. So I removed my glove. Whew, cheeseburger finger. Mm. Just part of it, baby. All right, so let's talk about this LED light bar. I do believe it's a 32 inch LED light bar. We already have one LED light bar on the Gator, but it's down low. And I've been thinking about purchasing one. This company contacted me and said, hey, we'll send you a light bar. Put it on your Gator, cool. So we'll slap this guy up. I wanna put him up high where these other lights are. So I have two work lights right here and I have two on the rear just like that. Let me say the factory lighting on the 825i John Deere Gator, that's what this is, it's just not up to par, okay? You want to be able to ride through a field at night and be able to see. All the lights that are down low are in the grass and you can't see. So we've been using these really high lights which we call our Sasquatch lights. We'll be attaching this to the same wiring as the Sasquatch lights. So when it lights up, it lights those two and this gigantic LED bar, which is gonna light up my field. It's gonna be awesome. When this company contacted me and asked me if I could do this, I said, well, I'll only do it if my subscribers, if my viewers can get a coupon code. So down below in the description, there'll be the link to their website and a 10% discount coupon code. Try to help you guys out a little bit if I can, in case you're thinking about getting something like this. Right on. Similar to most LED light bars, it's just a simple mounting bracket. And we'll drill a hole in the roll bar right here because it's my gator and I'll drill a hole in it if I want to. So just for comparison's sake, here's the LED that I have on it currently. 
<laughs> and here's the LED that I'm getting ready to put on it. It's huge, man. It's literally twice the size of the LED that I already have on, and that thing lights things up big time too, so this is going to be awesome. I'll take you around tonight and we'll show you how bright it is. So the first thing we're going to do is mount our mounting brackets up to the LED light bar and it has a little indexed let me shine some light on there it has a little indexed area right here and you basically just mount it up securely to that and once you get it all set up then you can make your minor adjustments just like you want it right about there is where i want it i need to make sure that i'm even on both sides this is going to require a little bit of monkey work get on up here and get her done so my mind tells me, get up there with a piece of tape and mark where you want your mounting brackets to be. So what I just did with the tape here is I put two pieces of tape up so that I can mark where my holes are going to go. And it's not very scientific. This thing has tiny minute adjustments that I'll be able to make adjustments, but things just got serious. I got the shades off. It's time to get busy. So I'm going to take a zip tie and put it on here fairly loosely. And I'm going to put another one over on that side and then we'll hang it up here and zip it up tight and then we'll know exactly where we need to put it. We'll take our brackets and we'll unscrew them from the light bar itself and we'll drill our holes out. There we go. Alright. I'll snug them down nicely. Put my light bar in position. Once again we'll get our trusty level out and put her up here. Perfect. Dead on level. Man needs a good set of drill bits in his toolbox too. This is my best drill bit set for drilling metal. See? So we'll take our punch, put it up here in position, and miss. There we go. There we go. Now here's the interesting part. I'll show you the poor man's tap and die set. You take your screw or your bolt and you put it in your hole here and you give it a little tap. Just like that. So the bolt is stuck in there, I'll show you. So it's stuck in there, and then we'll take our Allen wrench and basically thread it in there. Nice and easy, smooth and simple. Just like so, perfect. If you didn't learn something there, then you might be a redneck. Take the screw, get him in there, give him a tap. Take my Allen wrench and apply gentle pressure and thread that dude in there. Woo, she's a tight one. That's good. The tighter it is, the better it is. The better hold I'll get. All right, poor man's tap and die. Now we take our light bar and get him in position. I studied up on killing you. I threw down my shoulder, but I'm water that teddy bear. But I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Well, she's on there. Pretty simple. I'm not going to put the switch in because I already have a switch and we're basically just going to wire it up to the current wiring that's already up there. You put the dark color with the dark color and the bright color with the bright color. Just that easy. We'll get it all wired up and we'll show you how it works tonight. These are the factory lights. Turn those on. That's factory. Okay. This is the LED bar. That looks pretty good. And then this is my Sasquatch light. We'll turn it on. Boom. <laughs> well, you want it awesome, you want it ridiculous. That is pimping your gator lights for sure. <laughs> Guys, thanks a lot for watching today. I appreciate you. Please click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and be sure and check out dollarshaveclub.com forward slash stony ridge. All right, see you next time. Woo! You come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge.